Hey everybody, it's Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com. Did you recently get a new Fitbit device, a smartwatch like the Sense here? Maybe you got the Charge 4 or Inspire 2? If you're finding your Fitbit is not quite accurate in terms of calculating your steps, you can change it. Here's how to change your stride length to improve your step count overall. Fitbit, by the way, recently changed this process and where the tool is located, so this is the new way to do it as of December 2020. By the way, an early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. To customize your stride length or calibrate your Fitbit to count your steps better, open the Fitbit app and choose the Today tab from the bottom left of the screen. Tap your profile image to enter account settings and then scroll down to activity and wellness just under your list of Fitbit devices. Then click on exercise and scroll right to the bottom of the list. At the bottom there is stride length and you can adjust it for both walking and running. Wondering how you should best calculate your stride length? To measure your walking stride, go to a track or someplace where you can be sure about distance or mark it out in your yard or driveway or in the street with some chalk and some measuring tape. Count your steps as you walk across that distance, making sure you travel at least 20 steps to make sure it's accurate. Divide the total distance in feet by the number of steps to get your stride length. Your running stride can be calculated in much the same way if you run instead of walk. That's it. If you want to read the full Fitbit Inspire, Sense, or Charge reviews to see about how these watches and trackers can help you, head to techgadgetscanada.com or you can check out those Fitbit video reviews right here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please do hit that like button and give me a sub since it does help me keep making more of these videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until the next time, you can catch me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.